Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Tavalo Park Sewer Main Improvement Project. Uh, this is a WebEx virtual community, community construction meeting, and we are being uh, recorded. I'm going to turn this over to Scott Taylor, our project manager. Scott, you're going to have to unmute yourself. There you go. We're good. Good evening. I'll get started with, as Sally said, discussion of the Tavolo Park Sewer Main Improvements Project. Okay. Okay, Sally, it didn't work. My keyboard is not working. At the bottom of your keyboard. Yeah, my keyboard is not working. Nope. Okay, try to go back. Um, uh, it is. Don't, don't click on the screen. Click on your actual um, keyboard. Okay, there we go. Uh, sorry about the technical glitch Scott, there. Scott, uh, yeah. Scott, yes. go to full screen, remember? Click on what? the cup. Click on the cup. I Sally, I'm doing There you go. Now use your keyboard. Arrows. Okay. Okay. Uh, sorry about all this technical glitches. Uh, to the agenda for this evening's meeting, we'll have introductions of the persons that are responsible or oversight of the project. We'll do a project overview, give you a description of what we're doing. Then we'll talk about the project area where you'll have some maps and be able to show you that. And then we'll go through some frequently asked questions that we've got, we get from these type of meetings. And then we'll kind of go through a timeline for the uh, construction. So your construction project team includes myself, Scott Taylor. I am the project manager. Uh, my contact information is shown. My office phone is 817-392-7240. And I can also be reached by email at scott.taylor at fortworthtexas.gov. The inspector for this project will be Stephen Martinez. I know him as Steve, not as Stephen. Uh, his uh, cell phone number or his contact number is 817-392-6051. And stephen.martinez at fortworthtexas.gov is his email. Stephen will be on site as the city's inspector. Uh, we also have uh, our engineering design consultant is Brown and Gay. Uh, Donald Lang uh, is one of them, and then uh, Massingu is another one, and I do believe they are in attendance. The contractor for this project is Wilco Underground LLC, and our contact for them is Mike Osmus. So what is this project overview? A 30-inch diameter sanitary sewer main will be re rehabilitated or replaced in an area that is bounded by Alta Mesa, Alta Mesa Boulevard to the north, Harris Parkway to the east, Columbus Trail at Old Granbury Road to the south, and Quail Ridge Road to the west. The areas that will be most impacted or the areas that are developing is the Tavolo Park and the Chisholm at Tavolo Park area will be the most impacted. And this project is in uh, Fort Worth Council District number six. So to give you a better idea, of showing uh, the black line is the limits of the project. It, it starts or, or will end, however you look at it, uh, just on the other side of Alta Mesa Boulevard and then work its way uh, adjacent to some of the developing areas to Volo Park and then into other areas that are not developed. We do, the alignment does cross uh, uh, several street intersections or several streets, uh, Amelia Avenue uh, west of Hawes Lane, and then Candle Hill Lane west of Hawes Lane, Tavolo Parkway between Prairie Side Drive and Strata CV, and then Foxgrass Place at Blue Bill Place, and then Fox Stem Lane west of Blue Bill Place. The sewer main ends west of Cerrito Trail, just north of Colino Verde Drive. 
So why are we doing this sewer project? This project is being done in conjunction with current and anticipated development west of Chisholm Trail Parkway and south of Alta Mesa Boulevard. The yellow lines in the map you see show the current city of Fort Worth Sanitary Sewer Service Line. So that is the collection system that is coming to the larger diameter sewer, which we're working on, or as we call it, the main, or in some cases it's called interceptor. One thing we do want to make everybody aware of, the reason this project's being done is, first of all, to increase the capacity of the system, but also this sewer line was originally installed, installed in 1988, the trunk system was. So it's got over 30 years of age on it already. So it's time to upgrade it and, and use newer technologies that we didn't have available in the past for that upgrade. So I know a question that everybody asks on every project is will we, will we need access to your, to your property? Well, the construction for this project is being done within existing sanitary sewer easements and in the streets. So if Fort Worth Water needs access to your property, we will contact you prior to the start of construction. So we do not anticipate this will have to happen. Um, it might in a couple of instances, but those will be determined as we go through the project. Will my sewer service be disrupted? The construction methodology we're using on this project, your sewer service should not be interrupted. Uh, the contractor will have in place what we call bypassing, which will handle flow while he's doing work on the system, will continue the flow as it goes from south to north. Will there be lane closures during construction? Uh, as we've already talked, the, pro the projected alignment process five intersections. Depending on what construction method is used, there could be one lane closures when the contractor is installing the sewer main. Signs will be posted to alert motorists. Now, the hours of construction are from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday through Friday, and if the contractor requests, he can work on Saturdays from 9 a.m. to either 4 or 5 p.m. Again, the contractor will be bypass pumping. Ramps will be installed to allow vehicles to drive over the pipes if, it, if the uh, temporary force main crosses the street. So what happens if my property is damaged? The contractor will take pictures and video of the property before breaking ground. We also encourage property owners to take pictures and video of their property before construction commences. Damages, damage resulting from the contractor's activities during the construction is the responsibility of the contractor. So timeline. We expect this uh, project to start early March of this year. Uh, and then the contractor currently, based on discussion with him, plans to start at the northern end and move south. Uh, and then we have a current projected end date is late in the fall of 2022. So where can I get, where can you get more information? The progress will be updated on the City of Fort Worth website at www.fortworthtexas.gov slash projects slash CFW dash Tavolo dash park dash sewer dash main dash improvements. Uh, if you don't want to write all that down, you can also go to www.fortworthtexas.gov and enter 101-339-1 in the search bar on the home page. That will take you to the, uh, the site for this project and, and the progress will be there as long with the project map and the video. And then uh, uh, frequently our summary of questions asked will be linked to this project page. And in case you're wondering, the 101339-1 is the city's designation of, of the project. That's a project number. So again, the contact information is myself, Scott Taylor. Uh, again, I can be reached at 817-392-7240. And my email address is scott.taylor at fortworthtexas.gov. Uh, Stephen Martinez is the inspector. His uh, 
Number is 817-392-6051, and he can be reached by email at stephen.martinez at fortworthtexas.gov. So I, one of the things we always do include in these meetings is about how do I report an emergency or non-emergency. And then uh, some of this is for, in potential uh, have impacts on this project if something happens, so let's just sewer back up. So if it's an emergency such as a water main break or sewer backups, you can call 817-392-4477. When it answers, select option one and that will take you to a person that will be able to uh, dispatch crews, get the information out for these type of emergencies. Now, if you have non-emergency uh, questions and you can, you know, about your bill, about this or that, that's not an emergency, we have our water call center is open uh, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. And that number is also 817-392-4477. Please be aware that the water call center is closed uh, during city holidays. There's another way you can also communicate or, or contact us, and that's by downloading the MyFW app from the App Store or Google Play. You can report sewer overflows, leaks, and water main breaks, missing or broken meter lids, water theft, water violations, no water service, water pressure issues, and other sewer concerns. So thank you for attending tonight. And then uh, Sally, I don't know if we have any questions in the chat room yet or if anybody has a question for us. I don't see anything in chat. Do any of the uh, attendees have a question? Got a couple of call in users. You must have done a great job, Scott. Well, I, I noticed several of them were engineers <laughs> that worked on this project. <laughs> and then and then Steve, gets, he can answer all the questions. He's the inspector. That's right. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here, too. I'm here. <laughs> hey, Steve, we finally get to work together, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, yeah. I, was, I was having trouble getting on this thing, and I finally got, yeah. got it, able to get yeah. on here. So. That's okay. So. So if there's not any questions, we'll call it a night. And um, so you're saying March 2022 is when they'll start seeing. Yes. Uh, yeah, I expect, uh, I expect we will. They'll get started. I know they. Uh, we got to get some submittals in and uh, things like that to get them going. And, I, and uh, Mike, are you on the phone call? Yes, sir, I am. Yeah. Are, are you still planning on starting the CIPP first? Uh, or the manhole. Yeah, well, yeah. That yeah, the manhole. The manhole. Is the manhole. First, once we get the uh, approval. Okay. All right. Okay. Sally, I don't have anything else. All right. Well, thank you everybody for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank yes, you. sir. Bye. Bye. -bye.